We got our first real bits of information about Mass Effect 4 at a Comic-Con panel this weekend, so in today's Instant Expert we're rounding up 8 things we learned about Bioware's hugely anticipated follow-up to their epic sci-fi series. We'll start with the title because we've only called it Mass Effect 4 for ease. Bioware has reiterated that it won't be called Mass Effect 4. It's worth pointing out here that the developers were explicit about everything they revealed being open to change. This is what they've told us so far, but it could all be different when the game, whatever it's called, finally arrives. The big news of the panel is that the Mako is back. This is important because there's a greater emphasis on planetary exploration than there has been in recent Mass Effect titles. We saw footage from Comic-Con which showed the new Mako speeding across icy tundra. The new machine is apparently built for speed, but here's the really interesting bit. You'll apparently be spending so much time in the Mako that Bioware wants it to be an extension of your character, opening the door for player customization. Thankfully, it also looks like they've tweaked the handling to make it slightly easier to control. Let us know if you're glad or sad about the return of Mass Effect's controversial jumping space tank. We now also know from concept art that the player character will continue to be human, but we're still waiting on details about other playable races. We've seen shots which showed male and female heroes, and interestingly, they appear to be wearing the distinctive N7 armour, suggesting that they're Normandy operatives. Moving briefly onto time frame, we know that the game will take place during the lifetime of Commander Shepard, although Bioware has confirmed that Shepard won't be the star. Linking in with this, we've got the cast, and Bioware has suggested that some familiar characters may reappear in the fourth game. We've previously been promised new characters, obviously, and specifically new people to fall in love with, proving that romance, as ever, will still be a hugely important part of the game. Bioware has also promised that we'll never have seen characters this real before, and if you can make us believe that the Hanna actually exist, we'll be very impressed indeed. In terms of location, we know from E3 that the game will take place in a whole new region of space. The developers haven't ruled out the chance of visiting some familiar places though, so let us know in the comments which areas in the Mass Effect universe you'd most like to revisit. Multiplayer is going to be a key factor, and this time it's apparently likely to focus on co-op. This is the component likely to see us controlling other races. Interestingly, Bioware's multiplayer dream was born out of an intention to let players control various creatures from the rich and diverse Mass Effect universe. Elcor or we riot. Finally, and rather unfortunately, we also know that there will be a lengthy wait before release, with Bioware confirming that the game is still years away from launch. So there you go, are you happy hearing about this stuff so early in development or would you rather they kept it quiet? Let us know what you thought about the panel and be sure to check out other episodes of Instant Expert by hitting the links on screen.